What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. So guys, I complain a whole lot on this channel. That's kind of my thing, right? I find things that I don't like in the watch world and I complain about it. I'm the bad boy of the, of the horological YouTube space. But in one of my most recent episodes, I told you guys that you're all cheaper than therapy. And I need to just let off some steam, all right? So I apologize, but you guys are cheaper than therapy. And that's true. Guess what? I wasn't lying. Fact check, true. You guys are cheaper than therapy. And yelling into this camera almost every day is quite cathartic. It helps me out a lot, actually. But today, there will be no complaints, no boisterous rants, no angry negativity at all, actually. Today, I just want to take a few moments and say thank you. It is 11.54 p.m. What am I doing? Let's get down to business. So, Black Friday just kind of ended at the time of filming, and uh, I set up this new, like, studio setup here, and I'm getting the hang of it, and I just got a notification that we sold about 80% of our Black Friday inventory, and we had some of the most expensive items we've had out of any of the Black Fridays we've, we've done. We also had the most amount of pieces ever introduced at once during a Black Friday season, and still we sold 80% of the inventory. That, that's insane. We also just recently broke past 173,000 subscribers on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, I've noticed that the comment section is incredibly positive lately. Like, I'm always going to get some hate, some trolls, whatever, whatever, but it's been increasingly positive, like noticeably so. It's been so supportive lately. And I'm not like giving you these metrics to brag, okay? I'm not trying to brag here. And if that's what you're taking away from this, I apologize, but just bear with me, okay? When I started this channel, I didn't really have a goal, right? Uh, and I kind of just made the content that I would enjoy, and, and I still make the content that I wish I had when I first got into the hobby, but the truth is, things kind of snowballed for me very quickly here on YouTube, and it was kind of a whirlwind, you know, between YouTube and then Instagram and I got a whole bunch of friends through this hobby and a whole bunch of subscribers and followers over on Instagram and I was meeting all these new people and, and again, I, I guess the easiest way to describe it was just truly a whirlwind and when I was in my, you know, mid to late 20s starting this, this YouTube venture, I, I had no idea where it would take me and I know I said that I'm not trying to brag in this episode, but the truth is here's where I may come off as a bit braggadocious, so I apologize in advance. There are other YouTube channels in the, you know, orological space that are incredibly knowledgeable, right? They're super spec heavy, they speak in reference numbers only, they know every metric known to man pertaining to watches, they just are studs in the watch game. They're just they know everything. There are other wristwatch channels that have crazy clean macro footage and they're just superb cinematographers and just they're incredible. They make art, like true art here in the wristwatch space. And there are other wristwatch channels here on YouTube that just grow at an incredible rate. They just get a ton of subscribers, they have a bunch of interactions and again, they're making incredible content for sure. And I'm going to bring the mic up close. I know. I know. The first time I used this mic, people said that I had levels down a little bit too too low. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get very close so you guys can hear me out in the back. That's all cool with the other channels, but there are no other wristwatch channels here on YouTube or any other platform that are as crazy, as funny, as ridiculous, as much of a party as the Time Teller channel is. All right, every YouTuber known to man, every content creator known to man says, oh, I have the best subscribers. I have the best viewers. They're so supportive. You guys rock. And that's true. I mean, most content creators, unless you're a total sociopath, you know, has to acknowledge 
<laughs> what your your viewership does for you, right? They make everything you do possible. So yeah, I, I, I believe most of the content creators when they say, oh, I love my viewers. But the truth is, like, I do actually, I truly do have the best viewers in the world. Like, this week... Four viewers wrote to me and they're like, hey, I'm um, sending this watch I just bought to your P.O. box so you can unbox it. Hey, I'm sending this watch I bought so you can review it. Like, this is a regular thing. Like, there are people that, just out of the goodness of their hearts, want to see me review a specific watch and they just voluntarily send one over for me to review. It's insane. It is insane. There are people out there, you watching, that just want to support this thing I'm doing. And I just look back to when I started and I never thought we would get here. So yeah, there are other channels that take crazy, incredible, crisp shots. There are other channels that are incredibly informative and they're so spec heavy, hyper clinical. There are other channels that just grow with such rapid rates. It's it make your head spin. And the truth is we might not be any of that here at the Time Teller channel, but the truth is no other wristwatch channel has the fun that we do. And I am dead serious, okay? This might be me coming off a little braggadocious, a little bit cocky, a little bit pompous, but the truth is we have the most fun in the wristwatch space because we don't take this hobby too seriously. We recognize it as a hobby and we have fun. We're passionate about it. We debate. We get in arguments here and there. We, we're not scared of, of telling people what we like and we're not scared of telling people what we don't like. And that's the whole point of a hobby. And again, guys, just like I said at the beginning, thank you. Thank you. I could not have done any of the things I do on a regular basis without you. Oh, the time teller, uh, T3 started a new car channel. Cool, I couldn't have done that without you. Oh, T3 started a vintage shop. Cool, I couldn't have done that without you guys. Oh, hey, there's this new uh, T3 on air broadcasting setup that, that I'm working on. Yeah, I couldn't have done that without your support, guys. Seriously, thank you. Thank you so much. And and one thing that really does bother me about other channels, and I'm not I'm not talking about any channel specifically, so so I'm not speaking about anyone specifically, is what I'm trying to say. But I feel like one of the downfalls in the YouTube content creator space is that a lot of us don't really take the time to check in with our viewers. And and a lot of us are so busy producing content and, and trying to stay on top of things and staying relevant and, and, and getting the hits and getting the clicks and getting the views that we might not check in as much as we should. And I don't want to be one of those guys. I don't want to be one of those channels. And so that's why the Time Teller channel, the Time Teller team, I'm going to speak for all of us when I say thank you. Thank you. I want to check in with you. I want you to know that we acknowledge you and, and, all this stuff we're attempting here might be crazy, might be loud, might be boisterous, might be kind of unorganized here. We're definitely uncouth. Oh, we're not invited to uh, to dine with the captain because <laughs> the time teller's a little bit of a wild card. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We like being the wild card in the orological YouTube space because we have fun. So let me wrap this up with some kind of partitioned thank yous, if you will. First, thank you to my channel members. Guys, Literally $4.99 a month, you guys voluntarily uh, support the channel with that. It might sound like kind of an inconsequential amount of money, like just under five bucks a month, big deal, what can you do with that? Uh, a lot. This equipment that we film with, uh, this studio space, the editing, like this costs money. And um, it is literally my channel members that have allowed me to step away from consulting and go YouTube full time. Like, thank you guys for, for allowing me to do this with my life. I want to thank my customers over at the T3 shop. Um, it's a lot of work, uh, finding those, those items and getting them inspected and serviced and, and, uh, giving them, offering them to you the way we do. Um, but the overwhelming support and interaction we get over at the Time Teller shop makes it all worth it. I'm not kidding. I mean, the fact that we were able to upload the amount of items we have at the prices that they were and have you guys scoop them up, it, it thank you. Thank you, guys. Seriously, thank Like, I don't know. I, I'm, like, pouring my heart out here, guys. Thank you so much. Like, this support is... I, I just never thought that that this would happen. And And truly, guys, thank you. 
You've allowed me to live my dream of, of being a vintage watch purveyor, being a vintage watch dealer. That's uh, something that I've, I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be in that world, learning about these vintage watches, learning the history of them, learning the different variations of them, learning what to look out for, and finding these really cool obscure Art Deco Wittenauers, and oh, these really cool old school Gerard Perigo with true high frequency movements, like things that I've able to come across because this is a huge part of my life and, and literally a huge part of my career, I could not have been in this space without your support. So thank you. And here's where we get into to kind of the, the sappy stuff. But I do want to uh, extend a huge thank you to my parents because, um, um, well, I mean, my dad specifically got me into wristwatches. So, I mean, th thanks for, for giving me that bug of uh, being interested in wristwatches. But for my mom, uh, I swear to God, my mom is my biggest fan, uh, no matter what I do, but she watches every single piece of content I put out. And the second I upload, boy, she's, she's on the phone letting me know what, uh, what she liked, what I could have done better. Uh, she, she's, she's my manager practically. Like she's my manager, my agent, my biggest fan, the head of my fan club. She's, she's, yeah, she's at, well, she's everything to me, but, um, my parents, thank you so much for believing in me uh, with this crazy career that, I mean, I didn't fully understand, so I can't expect you to understand, like, what is YouTube? What, like, how do you make a career out of YouTube? Well, um, thanks for believing me, uh, mom and dad. Thank you. I got to thank my woman, Connie, uh, for sticking with me for, through the ups and downs, not only just in life in general, but also... You know, there are ups and downs in business and on YouTube and uh, you have good days and bad days. Hey, guys, I put on my pants one leg at a time the same way as you do. And um, not every day can be 10 out of 10. But uh, um, yeah, having having a significant other in your life that's there for you, uh, it's priceless. I got to thank Gato, recently married man, Gato, uh, my lead editor, uh, he's really allowed the channel to come to life, especially with like, d d my humor is one thing, but his editing, it's just, it's allowed it to truly blossom. And, and boy, those bits, they just hit baby. And believe it or not, uh, I got to wrap this up with thanking the people that are critical of me. All right, we're going to end on a strong one. Um, the people that write me hate mail regularly and uh, tell me they, they, hope I fail and, and that they want me not to succeed. Uh, as cheesy as it sounds, you guys motivate me more than anything. And uh, I know you're watching because you guys watch my content almost as much as my mom does. Because believe me, uh, when YouTube had dislikes, um, I would upload and, and by the time, you know, the video went live, I would already have like 10 dislikes. So people legitimately set up bots to dislike people's YouTube channels. Um, I think that YouTube should have kept the dislikes in because that's, as a viewer, you got to know what, what the, what the overall vibe is of the episode of the channel. So, uh, YouTube, if you're listening, which I know you are because you're big brother, you're, you got your hands everywhere. You got your eyes everywhere. YouTube, put the dislikes back in. Come on. And last, but absolutely not least, I gotta thank you for just hanging out with me today. Uh, maybe this is your first time checking out this channel and you don't know who this crazy, fuzzy-haired dude is, just kind of looks like a caveman mixed with a gnome. Yeah, I know, I should probably clean up my beard a little bit. I'm balding a little bit. I don't know, I look a little shiny right now. But the truth is, we have a whole lot of fun here. And if this is your first episode here, um, I urge you to watch some of the other stuff because you are going to have a blast. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you would like to see. Let me know what you want to see more of. Let me know what I could do better. Let me know. Just let me know, guys. All right, just comment. It helps me out and I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for everything. And I just wanted to check in with you today. And uh, again, just say thank you. All right, guys, as always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller, and always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. Guys, I will catch you on the next one. I love you.